my name is aisha i'm from mysore and i'm 18 years old i want to become an ips officer i want people to respect me i want people to look at me and look up at me and not just treat me like something the buy and sell now that i feel that i can do that I, uh, that's why i study and i go for my training because it will help me become an ips officer if i feel that whenever i'm playing a game or i'm training i'm i feel that i'm not alone i find that i can forget about my past i can forget that my family didn't take care of me i can forget that my husband the man i married sold me off for some money i can forget about all those men who raped me and i can forget that all these bad things happened to me and i feel strong i feel good about myself this man his name was rajiv and he was he was a lot older than me he was 30 years old uh, but anyway i got married to him and uh, after marriage uh, i went to stay with him and his mother and we all went to andhra pradesh every day they would ask me where is the dowry why don't your family give us any money so this torture for dowry went on every day uh, some months after this i realized that i was pregnant and uh, so rajiv and his mother told me that you can't have this baby you have to kill the child and uh, they took me to a hospital in yalahanka and where they did the abortion he took me one day to this house where uh, it was a big house and there was one man and one lady there and he said you stay here you'll get work here so i stayed there and rajiv left and i didn't see him after that they kept me locked up in one room and after 2 3 days these strange men people i didn't know come started coming to see me and they said that come here to have sex with me and when i said no one of them took me into a room and he raped me and every day these customers would come five of them six of them every day and uh, every time i said no or i tried to get up or i tried to go away they would the time my hands or they would hit me and they would make me do whatever they wanted to do then i realized that rajiv had is not going to come back he had sold me to them for 10000 rupees or something like that he had sold me like you sell an animal my husband had sold me i tried to escape many times every time i tried there used to be one man and one woman waiting outside the door and they would just stop me they would pull me by the hair and bring me back in and again i would be locked up i used to just lie there and let them do whatever they want to do i used to be very angry at my parents i used i used to blame them for just leaving me like that and if they had been there then maybe none of this would have happened so i used to be very angry at them i think after 2 months or something like that there was one man who came to see me he asked me uh, you're so young and uh, why are you in this business we want to do this so i told him the truth i told him that my husband had sold me so after this man left half an hour later the next customer came and when he came in there were all these other people there from justice and care and they closed the place down and they rescued me they took me away if i had been there for any longer either they would have killed me or i would have killed myself It's uh, been three years. Three years I've been staying at the Absa shelter, and uh, I don't know what I would have done if I weren't here. So I'm happy here now. I I f- I'm starting to feel better. I I like my life here now, and uh, 
I have friends. I I go for classes. I have computer training, and uh, I take part in all the activities that happen at the shelter. They organize a lot of different different activities for us. So I like spending my time uh, either studying or after studies we'll have kabaddi uh, games. So I go for all the games. I'm not very good at kabaddi now, but I'm learning. I think now I finally I feel safe and I feel like I've come home. I feel I feel like I'm protected and uh, I now I hope about I have hope and I think about the future. I finally know what it's like to sleep in peace. I know what it's like to not be scared and I know what it's like to be free to do whatever I want to.